Hi, and welcome back to this series about the SAP.NET Core. Picking up with what we have left in the previous episode, we are going to see how to manage a different environment. Uh, for example, in the previous episode, I explained the difference between the user developer exception page and user exception handler. So in this case, we want to use this one only if you are running our application on our laptop or maybe in a test environment, but we want you to use the other two extension methods uh, in case we are running our application in production. Before to you to ACP.NET Core, what we was using was something like if debug oops, to this else and if okay this is still valid we can or we can do it without problem in, in fact if we change here from debug to release as you can see use developer exception page is getting gray and here is white because this code will not be compiled and this one will be compiled but the, here we have a problem. The problem is if you want to change from developer and uh, development environment production environment, we have to compile it again. So potentially it's a different application because the, compile, the compilation time is different. Could be a lot of variables in, in this scenario. Uh, the, a better option could be to use uh, what is called the hosting environment in ASP.NET Core. In fact, we have an interface private read only i hosting environment we can call it amb okay that contains a set of information related to the hosting where we are running our application okay first thing to do to use this one is to inject the interface into our construction so here i hosting environment amb and here this dot amb equal amb okay now this variable is populated with this value. This value comes from ASP.NET Core. So here, instead of you this one, we can do something more cool, something like if this dot environment dot is development run this code. Otherwise, use this one. Okay, so as you can see, high hosting environment has some cool methods like is development, is production, is staging, and uh, the, the, the different value is not related to the compilation, so debug or release are not related, related to these variables. In fact, if I run this application, and I go here as a release. Okay, I go on about page. It's not working. I'm getting 404. If I go on counter page, I see the exception page. It's because it's entering here, because it's running this one, not this one. So it is important to remember that is development is not related to, to the compilation type. It is related to what we have in the launch settings.json inside the property folder. In fact, if you are going here, as you can see running web application 2, that is this one, we have the environment. This variable defines the environment where, where we are running our application. If we change this one with the production, and we go here, oops, Run as the bug, debug, play. Go here. As you can see, the, the environment is not a development. Let's put amp inside the quick watch. And we can see that the environment name is production. Okay. Is what exactly we brought here. Okay, this is the same for staging. If I change here with staging and I go here, we can add another 
else if this dot m dot is staging I don't know use this one again okay run it go here as you can see is staging but what about to have more than three different environments maybe we're working on a big company and we have a complex workflow a lot of server and we have to handle more than three simple environment like development staging and production for example we could have quality assurance how can i do that first of all we can we have to go into the launch settings and here write the new the our new environment name so quality assurance in this case okay so we have to go here and we need to check the name if dot environment name is equal equal dot quality assurance and go here okay let's run it if i run it environment name is quality assurance so if i go inside is working the problem with this approach that i'm writing a string in our code probably have to check this environment name in tons of line of code into my application so could be better to create an extension method. Let's do it now. Extensions. And here we can write something like create a new class, hosting environment extensions. Public. The class for extension method must be static. Public static bool is quality assurance this dot i hosting environment m return and dot environment name is equal equal quality assurance okay let's copy this namespace here using here and now i can replace this one with is quality assurance I'm pretty sure if I run my application again, it's still working in a quality assurance environment. Yeah, it's working. Okay. Now, what about environment? Here, if we, if we have a lot of environments or a lot of line of code that that are related to the hosting environment, probably we have a lot of if here, and it's not so good for our code. Basically, we have duplicated the configure method, and using a convention that is configure development, this is the name of the environment, so it could be also quality assurance. I can replace all this code just, just with this one. Oops. And here, because it's production, I can use this one. Okay, so to be more in a more simple scenario, here I can write development. And the ASP.NET will switch in this method instead of this one. If I run my application, it should work. Configure is running here. Okay, why is it not working? It's not working because my hosting environment is on quality assurance. If I change it with the development here, it should be go here because I brought here development. Let's run. Let's try it again. No, it's not working. Mm, very nice. Run it. Configure development. So if we go here. Close here and copy again. Rerun the application. Yeah, it's working. It was a typo. That's pretty cool. Very simple.
If you prefer to work in something different with the JSON because you are not familiar, you can do something like that. Go here, right click on your project, properties, and then you have build and debug information. On the debug information, you have the developer, development environment. You can change it here with quality assurance. For example, yes. You can save it. If you open it, you have quality assurance here. It's the same. Okay, you can add a new one and you can switch here. It, this is part is very, very cool because if you have to run on different environment, it could be helpful to do something like that. So this is Casserel, Casserel development. I can copy this one and then I can do something like Casserel QA, quality assurance, and then Castrel production and yeah, you write production. I can say if I go here, I can run my application very easily in all my environments. This is super cool. Okay, we're done with the environment. We'll see later how to combine this one with the custom configuration. See you soon. Thanks for watching Managing Environments in ASP.NET Core, presented by Ugo Latanzi and Syncfusion. Get your free ebooks on .NET Core and other development topics at syncfusion.com.